What's going on, geeks? My name's Cody Armour. It is Friday, and that means it's the day that we catch you up on what's going on this week in the world of geek. And I think, like usual, we're just gonna get into some gaming news, especially since the Game Awards were just last night. And there is so much to cover, so like everything else, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below if you wanna go check out more details. But a couple of things to definitely mention. First of all, that Dragon Cancer got a game with the most impact for the year, and totally deserving. And then of course Overwatch got game of the year, which makes sense except that Final Fantasy 15 is out now. But with the fact that everybody is playing this game, like it makes sense. Also so many trailers, I haven't even seen all of them, but Legend of Zelda, yes please. Also, is that just Zelda or is it a playable female Link? I, I need to know this. Why are they wearing the same clothes? Why can I not play this game yet? But we'll move on. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible today, so we'll get into some movie news. First of all, Spider-Man will have web wings, which have never made sense to me, but they look cool, so okay, I guess. Spider-Man Homecoming. And then there's news that we are getting a reboot of Escape from New York, I guess, because why not? It like, really did very well in the 80s, but it's very much an 80s movie. For those who don't know the premise of this movie, it is ridiculous. It is set in 1997, which is almost 20 years in the future of this movie. All of New York is basically one giant prison, Air Force One gets hijacked, and so Kurt Russell tries to escape this New York prison to go help save the President of the United States. Uh, anyways, it should be a good time, I guess. And then also in the news, we have this. For those of you who watched Power Rangers as a kid, this is Alpha, supposedly. His design is getting tons of hate on the internet. I, I wouldn't hate it so much if it weren't for those eyes. Those eyes are weird. Uh, the rest of it, I can totally get behind. And then finally in movie news, something that anyone my age has always wished for, and that is a Pokemon live action movie. That is fantastic news. Except no, not at all. It's actually Detective Pikachu. So I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much expect a Smurfs movie, which is not what I wanted out of a Pokemon live action. <sighs> that said though, there are talks that a normal Pokemon live action movie might be coming. One can hope. I think that would be awesome. I like gritty reboots. I know everyone hates them and that the market is completely overly saturated with them, but uh, I think they're fun. So there. And then going into some TV news, there isn't a ton to talk about, mainly because the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legend of Tomorrow crossover happened, and so that's what everyone's talking about. And I'm not gonna give my thoughts here. If you wanna hear my thoughts, actually next Wednesday, I'll be talking about it on the podcast, which you can find at geeksundergrace.podbean.com. But one thing to note is that Eddie Redman, the guy who played Scamander in Fantastic Beasts is kind of totally on board to play the Doctor. There's been a huge petition to get him on there basically because, you know, he wears a long coat and wears a bow tie and acts a bit like Matt Smith in it anyways. But I'm so down for this. Yes, please. Question of the day, what game do you think should have won Game of the Year award this year? I want you guys have to say this. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below with your answer. And as always, make sure you check out geeksoutofgrace.com for more geeky content. My name's Cody Armour, and you are watching The Week in Geek, the show we do every Friday. But let's know what's happening this week in the world of geek. I messed up, but I'm going to keep going. Uh, yeah, see you guys next week. God bless.